Today, let's talk about wild birds. Yeah, you've got your greens. What do you need from me, right? Oh, wow. Look who we have. We have our little robin friend. What are you doing? Do you want to eat? Do you want to eat? Is it time to eat? Well, get up on my hand here. Okay, yeah, get up on my hand. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Oh boy. Let's put this down here. Oh yes, okay. Hang on, hang on. Oh boy. The problems with wildlife. <laughs> so this one here, oh yes, just wait for it. This one here was brought in. A little high, let's adjust this up. This one here was brought in and um, fallen out of a nest and there was no mother around. So, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. There we go. Um, no mother around. And um, so it was brought into us. There you go. And we've been feeding. So now it's time for fledging. But of course, not quite ready for fledging yet. So what we're feeding here is actually chicken feed, uh, the granulated chicken feed. And then you add some water to it, which there might be a little bit too much water in this. And then you just, uh, oh, there we go. You feed it in. Feed it in with these. Okay, here you go. Oh, you're gonna be full soon. That's a good meal. Hmm? Oh, you're slowing down. <laughs> Mix this up a bit here. Here is a big one. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. One more? One more, then we, we put you back? Hey? Or are you done? You're done? You're done. Okay. All done. Good. So we'll put this uh, here. Get up on there. All right. So there we go. We don't have a name for this one, um, but um, we're hoping that uh, he, she fledges. And, uh, <laughs> oh babies, that's why the moms just leave, I think. It's like, okay, okay kid, you're done. Hey, you're done. So we'll put you back up on top of this cage. Actually, where we have, we've got this cage set up, so, and uh, there you go, in you go, there you go. And then when uh, he, she wants to leave, he, she can go. <laughs> hey, what do we call you, Robin? Is that your name? We'll call you Robin. Yeah? Okay. You hear that chirping? That's the chirping of a crying baby. This little guy in here, guy, girl, we're not sure of the sex of this one. We weren't even sure what it was. But we think we may know. So here it is here. Uh, we think this is a wren. Uh, it's small and it has a high chirp to it. So it is asking for food. So since it's small, smaller than our little angry bird. We call this one grumpy bird because he looks like just a little old man with fuzzy hair. And he looks all grumpy. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's what you want, right? The trick is just to get a little bit. Ugh. There we go. Not too much. So this guy girl <laughs> was brought uh, brought in just after Angry Bird was, and I don't know what it is with uh, 
Well, I guess I kind of know. Uh, this is around the time a lot of birds are fledging, but this one was found by somebody out of the nest uh, with nobody around, a vacant nest for whatever reason. So they were concerned and decided to uh, give us a call and uh, as it has it, we already had our little angry bird. So a few years back, uh, it would have been 2008, I believe it was, we had a uh, we had one come in. It was a red-winged blackbird, and we weren't sure what it was. And we actually posted it on YouTube uh, at that time and asked, you know, what people thought it was. A lot of responses, and um, came to the conclusion that it was a red-winged blackbird, and his name was R.K. Because he was found. Oh, there's a poop. <laughs> Are you full yet? Uh, because he was found on the road, uh, we decided to call him RK, aka Roadkill, which was kind of cute. <laughs> so he wasn't Roadkill, which was great. Uh, but he hung around for the summer, and we slowly started to see less and less of him. Oh, I think you're done, eh? Is that it? Time for bed? Uh, we started to see less and less of him, and... Um, and then fall came in, and and uh, we didn't see him again. So um, he's we don't know what happened with him. He's out there, and um, well, hopefully he's out there, and and uh, he's still flying around. It's probably well, it's been eight. I guess it's been about eight or nine years. So chances are he's probably not out there. Uh, but who knows? So we'll do what we can for these little guys and uh, and set them out. RK is now RK, not RK. RK is out. Yeah. Um, Angry Bird, the robin, is uh, is out flying around. Uh, so from time to time, uh, she'll come in and, and uh, want some more food and uh, fly on guests as they come in and see the animals. So it's kind of uh, that's kind of cute. All right. So the other thing is the barn swallows that are out by the barn. So we're going to go out. And we're going to have a look at those. I had the bigger camera, this camera here, uh, last time, and it just didn't fit up there. I couldn't feel around, or I did feel around. I felt little marbles, so there's a, a bunch of little eggs in there. So we'll go out and have a look at that and see just how she has progressed. Uh, I would assume that she's sitting uh, now. She has been sitting, so we don't know. There could be some hatchlings. Let's go out and have a look. Just in looking up there, it looks like they have already hatched. So last week when I checked, uh, there was uh, just a bunch of eggs. I think there was about four or five eggs. So uh, we will go up and we'll have a look at that. All right, here we go. Switch the camera around. And here we go. So these guys were just hatched this week. And uh, this nest is used annually. Uh, they attempted to make another one over here. It didn't quite work out, but this one's been used for years and years. So they'll come back, uh, likely the same one, uh, come back and, uh, and have their young. We seem to have some visitors. Female turkey and six young. She's checking things out. She's like, well, do I risk it? Do I go to the pond? She's flaring up, so she's a little concerned.
Oh, and here is another turkey coming up. This looks like Tina. Oh, Tina's checking things up, and the wild turkey is a little aggressive. And there's a little bit of a fight happening. So I don't think the wild turkey will be staying around <laughs> much. Oh, Tina. Wild birds are welcome, too. And it looks like Tina is dominating the wild bird. Oh, and there's all the babies. And there goes Mom. And the young ones are sitting on the hill. I don't know what she's trying... Oh, there's a guinea in there! <laughs> Guineas are always in a fight. If there's a fight, a guinea's got to get in there. No, oh, I think it's over. The wild one says, okay, we're moving on. We're out of here. We'll find another watering hole. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video on wild birds. Of course, we've got plenty of wild birds around. Those aren't wild birds. Those are guineas. <laughs> Making lots of noise. Anyway, um, if you're new to this channel, you may not have seen the peregrine falcon that came in about a month ago. It was found under hydro lines. So my assumption is it came out of a dive and pulled its wings out. Uh, didn't see the hydro wires and clipped one of its wings off. Uh, so the uh, the person who found the peregrine falcon had the bird for uh, a little while, but noticed that it was losing weight. Now they are an endangered species in Manitoba, so it's best if you do find a wild bird like that to uh, to seek uh, seek out your nearest uh, rescue facility. Uh, they came and saw us, and then we've got lots of uh, contacts out there, and we found the bird a proper area, got checked out. I uh, haven't heard anything back yet as to uh, how little Petrie is doing, but hopefully he's doing good and he's being used as an educational bird. Uh, last year, we last year, two years ago, we had this um, birdhouse that was donated to us uh, from somebody in the area. We were looking for something for Purple Martins. Well, Purple Martins didn't really move in. I think the holes were just slightly too large. Uh, we had a few other different birds that moved in and they're, uh, they're hanging out and uh, it's a full house. Anyway, that is it for this uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed it and um, give it a thumbs up if you think it's a good video. Comment below if you have any questions and um, We'll see you next video. Take care.